Hey guys, Linkoid here, and in this video I'm going to be answering the top 10 questions and sort of providing the top 10 tips for RL Craft. So if you're having any issues, stay tuned and they'll probably get answered. So the first thing is, we get asked this quite a lot, is how do you get planks? So you can obviously get logs, but a lot of people are having issues getting planks. So the way to get them basically is to place your, your logs down and with your axe basically right click in the middle and then the planks will jump out so you can see as we do that we're getting the planks uh, let me just show you so we've got eight planks in here now so that's how you get planks another question we get is how do you combat heat so you can see here my um heat levels going up um and basically the way I've sort of combat it in this little game I'm playing, which is a survival game, um, is I've just got this heat, this sort of pool here. And in a minute you'll see that my heat will, like the arrow on my heat will start going down in the middle of the screen. So the middle of the screen also shows you where um, your, what your current heat is at. So you can see the arrow just went down then. Um, the other way I've been combating it is if you go underground, you'll notice my heat level will almost completely go back to like neutral. So it's almost like light orange now and then eventually it'll just go completely neutral. So that's the two ways I've been combating heat. Okay, the next question we get asked is how do you get iron tools? So the way to get iron tools is you have to level up your... Let me just quickly switch over. So you can click the skills and effectively this will show you all your skills. To be able to get iron, you have to have mining of, let me just have a look for you. I believe it's eight. Um, okay, so yeah, you can see you need mining of a level eight to be able to use an iron pickaxe. And it's the same with a sword, you need attack eight and with and are actually gathering eight. So effectively these tools have requirements on them and that's where your skills will come into play. So you need eight mining to be able to use an iron pickaxe. So to be able to get iron tools effectively the best way is to level mining to eight and then you can acquire the iron, make yourself an iron pickaxe and then start mining even more iron. So that's basically the way you get iron tools. Um, another question I get asked is uh, what shaders are you using? Um, currently I've got got them disabled at the moment just because um, just for testing but generally speaking we use BSL shaders so yeah those are the shaders we're using. Okay the other question we get asked quite a lot is how do you grow food um, or in particular how do you farm? Now farming has an additional requirement to skills it also requires seasons so you can see on these seeds, we've got the requirement farm of farming too, but also these seeds will only grow during summer and autumn. So that's the additional requirement that has been kind of um, stopping people from progressing further. Um, if you want to check out any more information about farming, I'll put a card up in the corner and you can check that out because that gives you more information about farming. Um, the other thing we're getting asked is how do you get sugarcane? Because effectively, unless you've leveled up your skills, if you're punching this sugarcane, you can't actually obtain it. But what's interesting is you can still knock out the sand from below sugarcane. So when you knock that out, you can see the sugarcane will just fall on the floor and then you can just pick it up like normal. So that's a really cool little trick that you can use if you just see some sugarcane growing you can just knock the sand out from underneath to obtain the sugarcane so that's pretty cool um, another thing we've get asked a lot um, for some reason <laughs> uh, people keep asking where are all the horses um, effectively I've flown round quite a lot and I can't see any um, but they do exist because I've seen them in other videos they just are a lot rarer because effectively um, there's loads more mobs on here. So the amount of horses spawning are a lot less. So yeah, that's why you can't see a lot of horses. Um, another thing we get asked is how do you turn on creative mode in RLcraft? Um, 
Now, if you're in a single player game, if you've already started your world, you might not be able to, but there is a little trick you can use to turn it on. So effectively, if you go to open LAN, you can open your um, world to local, to the local area network, and you can turn cheats on. When you do that, obviously it opens it up to the local area networks. So you need to make sure there's no one on there that can log on, but um, that will allow you to then use cheats. The only thing is you'll have to turn that on every single time. Um, the other way to do it, safely anyway, is to, when you create the world, make sure cheats are enabled. If cheats aren't enabled, then you can't get into creative mode. Um, so another thing we get asked is they, or sort of mentioned is that players can't see their skills menu so there's a couple of reasons um, that could be causing that one is obviously if you're in creative mode you kind of can't really see your inventory properly so if you go to game mode survival and then jump in now you can see a proper inventory if you've got the green book open the like crafting book you won't be able to see it because it effectively blocks your um, blocks your screen the other thing is if you've got the baubles menu open, um, that will also block it. So you need to make sure you've got exactly this window open, not the baubles menu. So you see it disappears instantly, it removes all these icons. So you might just be running around with this on so that you can see everything. Make sure you're selected normal, you don't have any other windows open, and then you'll see your skills menu. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that quick video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you've got any tips for anyone then leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching.